Welcome to the city of Pella. As a Dionysus, the uh, capital of Macedonia, when it transferred from Bulgaria, where we've just been, to here, the mother of the uh, city of Alexander the Great. And uh, on a trade route. This city, like Olynthus, is laid out on the Hippodamian grid system. And the house we're in at the moment occupies a whole block, one of two houses that occupy a whole block. So it was obviously of very high status. There's the WC, should anyone need them. They've built sort of visitor centre and things, but they've obviously run out of money here at Pella, so they're not open. We're now in the pottery workshops, so that's where they wash the clay. And if I, underneath the protective roof, if I walk a bit further up, there are the kilns and the places where they used to store the, the vases. These look like the kilns here, don't they? Yeah. And that's, must have been a hive of activity in about uh, 320 BC. Yes, these are the baths, I think, aren't they? You sit at one end, on the wide end, and you put your feet in the, in the hole, I guess. Very small baths. You didn't have much water in there either, did you? These are baths. They, when I was at Olynthos, the same sort of thing, the bath. You sit on this, yeah. this end, and I might, perhaps you put your soap or something in the other, or your feet, or the water... Or, they weren't very deep. Perhaps you had a sponge or something you put in there. Where was the pool? Oh, there oh, was more. The pool was there. Oh, that's the deeper thing there. That's the pool. And over here was more more baths, by the looks. There's a lot of underground stuff going on, isn't there? Yeah, and they look a very good nick, don't they? Those baths over there. We're now in Helen House, the second largest of the houses in Pella. And it's got some great mosaics. This one's stag hunting. There are two men with stag at bay. And down here, more of a banqueting room. And this one is the rape of Helen, or the abduction of Helen by Theseus or Theseus. And I've even got the artist's name somewhere on here, made by Gnosis. I'm just taking up into the place of the Amazon mosaic. That's what it looks like. And unfortunately, I mean, it needs some water on it really to get the able to get the best effect. If I spin you round, zoom, over here we're in the courtyard here, aren't we? And the uh, you'd amble around the, the inner garden, inner courtyard. Down here, that's the remains of the fountain. Enormous pieces of stone, aren't they, there? That's a view north to the mountains. So this is the public archive in the southwest corner of the Agora. Or marketplace, market square, isn't it? It's a very big market square. It looks a bit tumbled down now, doesn't it? Oh. Looks like there's been an earthquake or something, doesn't it? And all the columns have fallen in. Still needs a bit of excavating by the looks of things. The side of the Agora, you can see all the well laid out 
shops, traders, stalls, can't you, that the workshop would have been at the beginning in the front and the place to live out the back, or storerooms perhaps. And uh, it's just like a modern day shopping mall. There's a stone here with a hole through it. I guess that's a tethering stone for your horses. And then there's looking across all the various blocks. I'm now going to go up into the Agora. So it's all very systematically laid out. A lot of the site was the stone was robbed out and it's been crumbling away and I imagine being limestone it was limestone it's been burnt as well. Uh, so from 2000 to 2015 with EU money they've been conserving and restoring the site and putting some of the walls back up and showing you the streets so you can it's more legible to the visitor. Um, but it looks like after 2015 the money's run out. So we're now going up into the Agora, which is up on a different level. And if I look across there, there's modern Pella right on the outskirts there. So that's probably where some of the stone ended up. Looking across the Agora, which is huge. You're looking down into the sanctuary of the mother of the gods. And who was Aphrodite, was it? Aphrodite. And we're all back under cover again here. Seems a shame because it's getting worn. That's the mother of the gods. And then this gives you a it's looking south down towards the sea in the bay. 